Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about housing housing darkling beetles. I have them in this small container here. Now, when I first got them, I housed them in a like critter cage like this. But since I only have um, three here, and this also goes for uh, mealworms as well, which are the mealworms turn into darkling beetles. I only have three darkling beetles right now, but I used to have a lot more. Um, and obviously like any size tub, like I have a tub over there that has um, doobie roaches and it's very similar to house them. Now, when it comes to like what they hide in, these guys are just hiding in oats, which they'll actually eat, which is basically like their dry food. And then they have some vegetables that were fresh. They normally actually eat them once they're kind of gone bad a little bit, which is kind of strange, but um, like kind of like hard, they'll start eating them. But um, that's why I don't take them out and it's not getting moldy or anything so um also you could put in egg crate with them like i have here i'll show you real quick, real quick before yeah. i actually show you the uh egg crate and everything be sure to keep um be beetles in pupa which is when they are turn when mealworms are turning into a beetle um the stage in between that um away from the mealworms because beetles will actually um nibble on like the larvae and the very very small mealworms so just if you're breeding them or um just converting them into darkling beetles be sure to do that so as you can see i have the same thing for my doobie roaches except i i keep some in um peanut butter jars because i sell them and i have um a crate that they like to hide in. I'd let, I'd show you, but it's kind of hard to get these out. And then um, there's a ton of them in there. Then there's obviously the oats and some of their older food, which again, if it was molding, then I'd take it out, but it's really not hurting anything to be in here. And also when it um, comes to housing, I haven't had they should just be able to be kept at like room temperature. I haven't had too much experience with um, breeding them. I, those are some of the ones that I have are some of my offspring, but um, I don't think you need to heat them or anything to breed them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe.